Whenever possible, remove the part from your own vehicle first. Steps and tools may vary based on trim packages or modifications to the vehicle by previous owners. Instrument Cluster Removal 2000 Ford F-150 Recommended tools will be a 7mm and a flathead screwdriver. We had already removed the steering column in our vehicle. It is not necessary to remove the steering column to remove the instrument cluster. You can perform all the steps shown in this video without removing the steering column. First, disconnect the cable for the gear selection indicator that runs underneath the steering column. There's a fastener here and it hooks here. If you're still confused about the cable, reference the steering column removal video. Start by removing the cover located just above the steering column. It's not held in with fasteners, just a few clips. Next, you'll need to remove the trim piece around the instrument cluster. There are two fasteners here, and one fastener here to start. There are also three fasteners above the instrument cluster that need to be removed. There's also one below the headlight switch. Remove the headlight switch by prying it out and disconnect its electrical connections. There's one more fastener located behind the headlight switch located here that needs to be removed. With all fasteners removed, you can remove the trim piece. With the trim piece removed, you can see the four fasteners holding the instrument cluster in place. Remove those fasteners. With the fasteners removed, you can pull the instrument cluster free and disconnect its two electrical connections. You've now successfully removed the instrument cluster.